Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to my second money making guide. Everyone really seemed to like the last one, so I'm back at it again with another one. This one, this time, will not be AFK. Uh, I will have another AFK guide coming out eventually. I, you know, have a couple different methods from the last one that I would like to show you guys. Well, this one won't be AFK. This one will be mostly, uh, not well known methods, but, you know, methods that are, you know, that people do know most of them. They, nothing should be surprising, and hopefully, uh, I'll just do them all for an hour, and hopefully you guys will be surprised more by uh, how much they make per hour than what they are. Uh, and it's the same as the last video. I'm going to be doing it for myself. Like I'm going to be trying it out to see what it makes. So, And I'll let you guys know what happens, and we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, what is going on? So the first way we're going to be making money is Wines of Zamorak. This is a pretty well-known method. There's usually a couple people doing it, but you know it still makes profit. And we're going to figure out exactly how much profit... Uh, in this next clip. So basically what you want is just wear lightweight armor. I mean, you don't even really have to, but, you know, lightweight armor is good. Uh, you need 33 magic for a telekinetic grab. And also, one thing I highly, highly recommend doing is the Falador Easy Achievement Diaries. It's it's super, super easy to get done, and it gives you access to the shortcut and birth rope, which is really, really nice. And then, so your inventory, we should, well, you should have an air staff, and then your inventory you want to have... Law runes and a looting bag. You can use the looting bag to go climb over into the wilderness and uh, fill up the wines of Zamorak in there. So you can actually do two trips without banking, pretty much. So all you gotta do is use your games necklace, teleport to Birthrope, come down here, run southwest, no, southeast. I don't know my cardinal directions. You just run southeast a little bit. It's about five second run, you know. And then you have access to this uh, shortcut right here with the Faldor easy achievement diary so all you got to do is climb or maneuver past the tight gap come over here and yeah see somebody had somebody's already uh, done it on this world but that's fine we can hop around plenty of worlds there's actually a lot of bots that do these which kind of is annoying so i recommend having os buddy for the world switcher so you can switch over yeah see it's already back so you just use cast telekinetic grab on wine of zamorak there we go we got and then once you get a full uh inventory of them you just come over here Cross the wilderness ditch, go into the wilderness a little bit, and use the wine of Zamorak on the looting bag. Boom, there you go. So you just get a full inventory, put it on the looting bag, get another full inventory, and then use your ca or you can just teleport to Castle Wars with your ring of dueling. And uh, or if you want, you can just uh, teleport to Camelot since you already have the runes. It doesn't really matter. And uh, then you just run back and repeat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for an hour, and I'll get with you guys as soon as I start the timer. Hey guys, what's going on? So we are going to go ahead and start the timer here in a second. This guy just stole it, you bastard. But uh, anyways, I wanted to say that we are starting out at 2,024k magic experience. So we'll see uh, what magic experience we end up at. Let's go ahead and uh, start the timer. And I will meet you guys when I've been done with an hour. Alright guys, so I think this is going to be our last wine. Uh, I don't know how good it's going to be because there's a lot of people in every world. Uh, it's, I think it's, there's a lot of bots here. So uh, yeah, but anyways, we'll go to the timer, stop it. Just about an hour exactly, so we'll go to the GE and see how much our profits were. Hey guys, what's going on? So our total profit was, well our total uh, money we made was 362 k and then we spent 38 k on uh, law runes, so that means our total profit was around 325k, which isn't too bad for an hour, you know. It's a uh, pretty click intensive, but honestly, if you can find two worlds that people aren't on and just keep hopping back and forth between them, it's not too bad. You just gotta find two worlds to pretty much take for yourself, you know. So uh, yeah, hey guys, what's going on? So throughout this video, what I'm gonna have running is a farm run in the background, and I'm gonna do it for until an hour's time, just like all the other money making methods. But basically, what I'm gonna do is I have a timer right here. I just started it when I uh, started the clip, and what I'm gonna do is basically every time I do a farm run, I'm gonna have the timer going, and I'm gonna stop it, and every and then once I hit an hour, we'll see uh, how many herbs I got. Now I'm 92 farming, and I think what I like to do is snapdragons because they're good profit and they're decent experience. But I figured a lot of you guys aren't 92 farming. So I'm doing toe flax seeds, which require 38 farming, which isn't bad at all. And uh, I'm not going to include these herbs from first run. These first run herbs are uh, snapdragons anyways, so I'll be able to tell the difference from that. But yeah, I'm going to count the time for the first run because obviously, you know, your first run, you're going to have to do the time as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys throughout the video with, uh, you know, where I'm at in the farming run and how that's going and time-wise and whatnot. So yeah, see you guys in the next money-making method. 
Hey guys, what's going on? So the next money making method is going to be making unfinished potions. Now, uh, all you need for this, really any potion will work. So uh, let's see, what, which one will probably be the lowest one that works? Uh, I would say level 30 herb lore for the defense potion, which means you can make unfinished Raynar potions. So level 30 uh, herb lore at least, but uh, I'm doing snapdragons, which requires level 63 herb lore. And all you need is vials of water and clean snapdragons. And all you got to do is click on the snapdragon, click on the vial of water, and click make all. And I'm going to go ahead and start the timer, and I'll see you guys in an hour. Hey guys, what's going on? So this is going to be the uh, last inventory for the unfinished potions. Uh, a couple things I wanted to add is it is best to do this at a one-click bank. That's why I uh, came to Castle Wars, because I was doing it at the Grand Exchange, and it just slowed things down just a little bit. Alright, we just finished our last inventory. We'll go ahead and stop the timer. Perfect. Uh, also, I wanted to mention this is this is kind of a uh, AFK method. Like, it's not as AFK as some methods, but you click on the... You, you do three clicks. You uh, click on the herb click on the potion and then click make all and other than that you know you get like 15 seconds of afk and then you got to bank again so it's it goes through them all super quick but it, this is kind of an afk method anyways i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go sell these and i'll get back to you guys with the profit hey guys what's going on so sadly the price of the unfinished potions and snapdragons both crashed last night but uh they didn't crash at equal rates the unfinished potions crashed more than the snapdragon so uh my profit margin is going to be a little bit fucked up honestly like it's it would have been almost 400 gp each and now as you can see here we bought a snapdragon for uh 8000 or 8 yeah 8852 and we sold the uh, potions for 9006 so that's about a, what 150 gp margin which isn't bad but it's like almost a third of what we were originally getting so you know, just keep that in mind. If you find something that works well, you can make almost triple the money I made. But, anyways, that being said, we did end up making almost 24 mil, 23.98 mil. And if you go to what we spent, we uh, spent 23.57 mil. So we ended up profiting about 420k, which, you know, hey, that's really, really good. 420k, and, you know, you could make up to a mil, even more than that an hour if the... Uh, if you get better margins than what I did selling these, uh, as you can see last night, uh, I sold one, or I sold two for this price, and then I logged off, and then no more sold the whole night. So I was hoping to get at least a 200 GP margin, but we only got 150, and we still made over uh, 400k, which you know isn't bad at all. Hey guys, what's going on? So the next money making method is going to be making sapphire jewelry. This method was uh, actually suggested to me by a viewer from my last video, and uh, I figured I'd try it out. You know, I've never heard of it before, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And you know, if it makes good money, then uh, that's hey, that's a good thing to see. Uh, it only requires 20 crafting. Uh, all you need is a ring mold, and then 13 gold bars and 13 sapphires. You click on the thing, and you go to make X, and then you type in you type in 13 but 99 is just easier anyways uh so once you start making them uh, i'm gonna start making them here and i'm gonna go ahead and start the timer uh the main reason these make money is because the sapphire rings can be enchanted into rings of recoil so right now the rings of recoil are pretty big because they put it so that the uh, torture ring could hold charges for the ring of recoil so that might be why it makes money right now maybe it doesn't always make money but hey either way i'm gonna show you guys the results of what i make in an hour i'll be back with you guys then Hey guys, what's going on? I think this is going to be my uh, last inventory. Uh, let me actually check the... Oh yeah, yeah, we already finished, so we'll go ahead and stop there. Uh, I'll see you guys at the GE with the total profits. Hey guys, so it looks like we actually found ourselves a pretty damn good method. Thank you for uh, submitting this, the viewer. Uh, it was A total cost was 1674 k uh, You can see my math here, I made 1020 uh, sapphire rings and that's the price for the gold bars that's pressure sapphires I'll show you in the uh, grand exchange history here in a second uh, and I ended up making 2.1 mil uh, total which came out to a total profit of 477 K and I also got 40,000 experience from all that so that is crazy that 40 K experience crafting experience per hour is not bad at all especially it only requires level 20 crafting like that is that is insane uh, experience and it also makes almost 500k an hour which is very very good uh oh what the hell damn it look at me clicking all these wrong things but anyways let me go into the uh history 
And to show you guys, here's where I bought the sapphire for 1,455, and I bought the gold bar for 1,000 or no 187. So yeah, pretty crazy, 477k uh, an hour, and it also gets really good crafting experience. I'll see you guys in the next money making method. Hey guys, what's going on? So this is going to be the uh, last herb for the herb run. Uh, I should have brought snapdragon seeds to replant those for uh, since I'm not doing uh, any more herb runs after this one. But uh, yeah, so we did pretty good. Uh, a lot of herbs died, sadly. I know you don't have to use compost on this one because it never dies, but I just did it to make it easier for the calculations at the end. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, perfect. Exactly an hour, man. We are good. So uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and meet you guys at the GE and let you know the total profits from one hour of farming. Hey guys, what is going on? So as you can see, we just sold the Toad Flax. We got a total of 297, which is pretty crazy because I think I had like six or seven uh, herbs die. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, as you can see here, the total money we made is 553k. I have a little thing right here. Uh, the total cost was 50k. If you want to see my math, it's up top. And the total profit was 504k. So 500k in an hour is really good. Sorry about my phone going off. I'm in a group message right now and. People always feel the need to be annoying. But anyways, um, so yeah, 504k profit in an hour, really good. The best thing to do is Snapdragons right now. Uh, if you can't do that and you have a good amount of starting cash, Raynars are only 32 farming. They're actually lower than Toad Flax, but the seeds are a little bit more expensive to start. So if you don't have a lot of starting cash, definitely Toad Flax. It's really cheap. Each seed is only 279 coins. So really, really good thing to do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the outro. Hey guys, what's going on? This video is already pretty long, so I'm going to try and make this outro super quick. I'm just going to go over all the methods, their requirements, and their profits. So the first method was Zami Wines. It requires 33 magic, and the Falador Easy Achievement Diary makes it a lot easier. Uh, you get 325k profit an hour and 8k magic experience. The second method was Unfinished Potions. Uh, you need at least 30 herb to make unfinished Raynar potions. What I did in this video requires level 63 herb for the unfinished Snapdragon potions. Uh, I got 420k profit. Uh, if you uh, sell them at like the right time and the right profit margins, you can easily get over a mil an hour. This method is one of the best money making methods in the whole game, and a lot of people don't do it because it takes it's no experience, you know, and it takes a lot of time and focus. Uh, the last method was ring of, or not the last method the second to last method was ring of recoil which requires 20 crafting we're actually just making the uh, sapphire rings so all you need is the gold bars and the sapphires and uh, I got a total of 477k profit in one hour and I also got 40,000 experience an hour which is just insane for 20 crafting so if you're low level crafting you're looking to get up this is a really really good method uh, and the last method which out which we did throughout the video was farming now we got a total of 504k profit in one hour of farming uh, if you have at least level 32 farming, you can do Rain R's, which is one of the second best profit right now, I think. And uh, if you have at least 38 farming, you can do Toad Flax, which is what I did in the video. And level 63 farming is the best money in the game farming-wise, which is Snapdragons. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was long, but hopefully you guys got some help out of it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.